following demonstration, we'll make a finite element model from CAD geometry that was created outside of NX and then update our finite element model from a change also from outside of NX. We'll begin by importing the geometry from a step file. Next, we'll wavelength an associative copy of that geometry into our idealized part, making sure to hide the original geometry. Hiding the original geometry is important because we'll get the original CAD geometry and the wavelength geometry unless we select just the visible bodies. So now you can see we have just one body, which is the wavelength body. Now we'll put a tet mesh on the geometry. We could assign physical properties to the collector if we wanted to. Next we'll put a mesh control on one of the faces to refine the mesh locally. And then we'll put some constraints and loads on the model as well. And here we want to assign this load to a face. All right, so there's our finite element model. At this point, we could solve Bose process, but we have a CAD change. And the CAD change has um, come to us as an updated step file, which we'll go ahead and import. We want to import that step file into the master CAD file and we need to be in modeling in order to import a step file so here you can see the updated geometry and the original geometry in the same part file next we'll go back to our idealized part where we have the associative copy of the geometry that we wavelength and we're going to go ahead and edit that to select the updated geometry and then shift pick to deselect the old geometry now to ensure that we get a robust update we need to be able to match the edges faces and bodies from one to the other so here you can see the original on the left and the updated one on the right. We can use a geometric algorithm to automatically match those edges, faces, and uh, edges and faces that have not changed. So here we'll take a look at one of those faces that was matched. Uh, this particular arm uh, or side of the arm has not changed. So we can go ahead and accept uh, that match or we can accept uh, all of them. I'll go ahead and accept all of them. Now there's also a number of edges and faces that have not been matched and, and it's okay if they're not matched as long as there's no child features in the finite element model depending on them. But uh, here you can see there are several faces that we assigned um, a mesh control to as well as constraints and loads that we need to match. So we'll need to add those matches uh, to the replacement assistant. So that was where we had the mesh control, the constraint, and now we need the face that we had the load on. All right, and that should do it. So now we'll go back to our finite element model. You can see 
It's updated the geometry. And the update button is available for us to update our mesh. You can see the mesh updates as well as the mesh control. You can see that's still associated to that face and it's refined the mesh locally there. And also we can see our loads and constraints also have stayed associated to our geometry. And that concludes the demonstration.